Hello everyone, this is Mikhail Malib here and welcome to my new video tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to learn a new, fun, easy, very playful beginner's level. Some of you have been asking for beginner's level combination, so this is a beginner's level tribal fusion uh, belly dance combination. And before we start this combo, please, please, please take, take your time to follow me, heart this video, and leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you. So let's begin with the tutorial. The first four counts of the combination begin with two figure eights. So we have one, two, three, four. Good. And with the horizontal figure eight or the flat figure eight, you can do whatever arm movement um, you prefer, whatever looks better on you, play with it, try it. What do I mean by that? You can do a basic version, which is isolating the figure eight here and keeping your arms to the side. You can keep them low, you can keep them higher, you can put your arms here, you can frame the hips while you're doing the figure eight, or if you're like me and you're feeling a little bit whimsical, um, and it works well with this um, kind of cabaret-ish um, tribal fusion music that I picked for this one, you can do one, two, three, four, which means that the hand follows the hips, wherever the hip goes, the, the, um, the arm cord goes with it, it emphasizes the movement a little bit and adds some more like jazzy vibe to this whole uh, figure eight thingy. So again, we have one, two, three, four. Good. From here, we're going to change our feet. We're going to close one foot um, in front of the other or next to, to the other foot um, in a classical belly dance tribal uh, fusion cabaret style. And from here, we're going to have four counts of frontal snake arms. What do I mean by frontal snake arm? This is the snake arm when we're doing a classical vibe, classic, uh, the classic version of it. If we're taking it to the front a little bit, they become like this. Good. So we have two figure eights. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. The next eight counts, we're going to open our arm to the side here. So we're doing this on four counts. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit with a cold here, so I'm coughing. So we're finished the four counts, and we have one, two, three, four. The next four counts, we're lifting our hip up, down, up and we're going to change our feet again. So we're kicking and crossing our hands in front. So I had the opening for four counts. One, two, three, four, up, down, up, kick, and one, two, three, four. So after I kicked, I'm going back into the figure eight and I'm doing the same thing to the other side here. So one, two, three, four, up, down, up, kick. Now. I can add to this a little bit of shimmy. Where can I add the shimmy? After I finish the two figure eights here, so four on the five, six, seven, eight, I'm doing a little shimmy. And I continue with the shimmy when I'm opening my arms for the four counts. So I add another eight counts of shimmy. This is for the more advanced beginners. If you're feeling comfortable with shimmy and feeling comfortable with changing your um, center of gravity and changing direction and pivoting a little bit. So let's do it from the beginning. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and open, two, three, four, up, down, up, kick again, two, three, four, let's add some shimmy into it, one, two, three, four, and up, down, up, kick, and let's practice with some music. Oh, change. 